Hey, y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, I'll say this. Um, I'm a little late to the game with Wheel of Time for Season 2. Uh, for Season 1, I did watch it when it was first coming out, uh, watching it every week. Um, if you haven't watched it, um, it's okay. Um, compared to the books, it's a little different. Now, I'll admit, I'll say this. I haven't watched, I've read the books. I mean, I have not read the books at all. But from the Wikipedias, uh, or Wikipedia, um, and the summarization and such, aka the cliff notes. Um, season one seemed good. I mean, from a from a person that hasn't read the books, I kind of enjoyed season one. Season two, I'll say this: it seems like it was following the books a little bit, but more so to the point where, like, I didn't really find myself too enthralled within with each episode to the point where, like, I'll, I'll be honest, I was breaking on my phone and like going through TikToks, Twitter, whatever it may be, one of the social medias or anything like that of that nature. Um, and it was kind of to the point where like every now and then I would just get up and just walk towards the kitchen or whatever it may be while it's still playing. And I'm like overhearing stuff here and there. But, you know, reality is, is like I wasn't paying too much attention because I, for, for, me, for me it felt a little too slow. Um, but I think the final episode of season two, that where they all came back together, mind you, caveat, if you haven't watched the episode, spoiler alert, but in any case, uh, when they all come back together, it was interesting. At least that's where I think the final two episodes, at least, it started coming together. And I think that's when I realized, uh, that's when I started getting back into it to the point where, like I'm looking forward to looking f uh, for season three um, to the point where it'll be interesting to see how it works out with the remaining uh, I forgot what they're called, uh, what Lanier, Lanfear was. I forgot what type they were, um, but it'll be interesting to see how that works out from that perspective. And, and the, the episode, season three, that is. Um, but I will say this. Um, I'm hoping, I, I mean, the Wheel of Time, I think it's more so from Amazon's perspective. They were trying to follow the whole Game of Thrones sort of Lord of the Rings fantasy realm basically like you know get you into it essentially uh, I, I've heard the book series is really good I haven't read it yet myself personally I'll probably read it one of these days when it becomes free or it's available on Amazon Prime read where you know like you don't have to pay it's like kind of like a library type of thing uh, but outside of that uh, I, I, I will say this um, given the opportunity um, I think I might just wait for season three to fully play along and then start watching the series maybe binge watch it rather than watching it each week um the way netflix does it where like they just release out every pretty much first half and then the second half uh a much later time frame i don't know if i could do this you know whole week thing i mean the the ring of power season one was okay um season two i'm just watching episode one right now anyways but in any case with the Wheel of Time, season two, I think I would never have been able to watch it unless I was able to binge watch it. Uh, honestly, uh, actually, I, I, that's not entirely true. I can't say that I would I would be able to binge watch. I think it's probably it'd probably make more sense for me to watch it on a weekly week by week basis, or at least one episode per day because binge watching I don't think it would work out for me. I you know towards the final three to four episodes I did binge watch it for those four hours, but. Uh, honestly, it was just more so because I just want to get you know get done with it at that point. There are some other series out there on Amazon Prime, of course, that have come out this year. Um, Fallout, I have to watch that. I'm, w I'm waiting to watch that. But right now, I'm watching, trying to catch up on the Rings of Power season two. I think it's already three episodes out. I want to catch up so that I can watch the remaining season. Um, you know, as far as on a per week by episode uh, week release, uh, at that point, then I'll probably just binge watch at Fallout as well too. But I have a feeling. Uh, the the case of season three, I think it'll be much better. I'm hoping it follows is much better and it comes along and follows the book a little bit more closely, because that's where I think the book series was far more popular than what the, um, unfortunately the Amazon Prime series. I, I hate to say this, but like if Amazon Prime followed the books more closely, I think it would be pretty interesting, similar to what it was with the um, the Expanse. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how they work out with the expanse but that's i think amazon's still trying to work that out basically but uh it's possible i don't know what the rating is for uh season two uh, i gotta take a look and see what the ratings are but i think from my from what i last saw 
loosely a while back, it wasn't as high as it was season one. Um, to the point, like others that I've talked to that have watched it, they kind of enjoyed it, but they weren't too enthralled with it as like they were with season one, like myself as well too. But in any case, uh, let me know your thoughts, uh, what you think of season two of The Wheel of Time, uh, if you thought it was good or not. Um, I, I think I felt like the character development wasn't as as compared to season one was i'm hoping season three that changes and like you know comes back together and like you know how they were doing the character development at that point as well too but with that i'll leave it at that uh again leave let me know your thoughts uh please leave them in the comment section um have some discussions about it as well too i'd love to discuss with others but with that i'll leave it at that uh if you like this video please hit the like button and if you uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh but with that i'll leave it at that um Again, if you hit the like button, uh, it lets me know what content I should focus on. Because as of late, if you've seen all my videos, I've gone randomly on so many different things from like football, sports, basically, some movie reviews, as well as Formula One, football, baseball, basketball, of course, and hockey, as well as, you know, uh, books and ser or series. I haven't done books yet. I will say there is a book I'm reading, but I'll get back to get to you in a, in a bit about that uh, in another video. Or in any other case, I'll even like, you know, BJ's Beer Club of Reviews. But with that, I'll leave it at that. Uh, again, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if, you're, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. With that, I'll leave it at that. Unfiltered, unedited, and of course, always unrehearsed. Until next time.